Oh my god, this November is behind me. Workshop in Berlin, and it's like 1,100 kilometers from here to to Berlin, and 300 kilometers before Berlin, my turbo turbine went died. Oh, shit happens. Luckily, Astrid was with me, so we got a rent a car and um, we continued the road. This actually is not a, uh, a photograph, this is actually a collodion uh, plate which I chemically and physically manipulated, which means that uh, I made a chemogram actually. And that chemogram we put into the larger and make this photograph. After the workshop I went to see some exhibitions and of course my favorite gallery in Berlin is CO Berlin. And as it happens, top shit happens as we know, uh, in that gallery they had exhibition Back to the Future. Uh, where contemporary artists are using 19th century handmade photographical processes in 21st century. As it happens in every big group exhibition, you you like some work and some work it's not very close to you. It was the same on this one. I was really happy to see Anna Atkins' photographs in in real, like you know, originals. Anna Atkins, if you don't know her name, you have to because she is the author. She's the first uh, person who did a photo book. She was very interested in botanical um, botanics. And uh, she, her father was a great friend of uh, John Herschel, the inventor of cyanotypes, uh, cyanotype process. And she was using cyanotype process to, to make a catalog of, of, uh, of plants. And she made, she made like 21, 22 books and she gave them away to the scientific um, institutions. Anyway, in this exhibition I liked her work a lot from that context, but I even prefer the twist of 21st century photographer, which is Alan Butler from Ireland. He did some really, really cool stuff. What he did, he took the whole premise of Anna Atkins and brought it to, to contemporary times. So he was using cyanotype, uh, botanics and everything, but the plants were actually from virtual reality. You know, the plants were actually from uh, video games and so on. So that's, I think that's really cool and smart twist. Um, very, very smart twist. And secondly, what I really, really liked was actually, um, I saw originals from Karl Blosfeld, uh, one of the founder, founding fathers of new objectivity. And um, also he was a botanic. Um, the second thing that I really, really liked was actually um, a work of Spiros Hadjianos. And what he did, he took the, the photos of Karl Blosfeld 
uh, and then he made a 3D uh, prints. I think this is pretty cool, like smart, you know? It's kind of like um, very contemporary and, you know, it's a great homage to, to founding fathers of photography. Some of the work I really didn't like. Um, I was thinking to skip, to not mention it, but I will, just for fun of it, you know, we are, we are photographers, you know, I think we will enjoy this. Gwyneth Berlins, she, she made an exposure piece. I mean, she is really recognized and uh, a successful contemporary artist. But from my point of view, <laughs> her work, exposure piece is actually funny. What she did was just like, she used like a big glass, uh, pour it with collodion, sensitize it, and she made like a, you know, she made a test, uh, which, you know, basically a light trace, you know, like, of course, you know, this is sensitive to light. So that's what she did. And um, so, yeah, you see what she did. The best is actually the flooring. I mean, I couldn't believe that the vinyl on the floor bear traces of the developing process in a way reminiscent of a dance school. You tried to do a photograph and then, you know, didn't work and then you <laughs> exhibit the floor, <laughs> the flooring. <laughs> I think it was really, really cool. <laughs> Actually, I really like that. Probably not from the, from the perspective as a curator, as an artist wanted, but, you know, I really, really like that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for me, it was really funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. <laughs> Okay, that workshop in Berlin finished on Friday and I'm in Berlin with 200 kilos of my equipment stuff, uh, no car, uh, lodging with Christian Kland and you know, I have to go to Berlin. It's too heavy to carry. What did I do? Well, <laughs> as we know, top shit happens and this is, is absolutely true. Uh, Rob uh, is a fellow um, wet plater from Netherland. He sent me on Saturday morning, he sent me a message, hey, uh, are you coming to CO? You know, is it possible to meet? And I said, well, of course I am, you know. <laughs> so yes, I am planning to do that. So we met and you know what? I, I mentioned to him that, you know, I have to go to Hamburg. I don't have a transportation. And he said, come with us. You know, we are going back home and we are passing Hamburg. <laughs> After Hamburg, I went back to, to Berlin. Uh, Christian Klan helped me to pack all my stuff on the palette. Palette was shipped back home. I went with the bus. I came home, I prepared my stuff and uh, five days later I went to Bosano del Grappa for a commission for a museum. Okay, now we came to the main point of our vlog. Thank you for sticking around with me for a whole 10 minutes. But the main thing is that I want to show you what I bought. What do you think? It's 
Gibellini, 40 by 50 centimeter camera, 60 by 20 in inches, um, made of uh, bamboo, plywood, carbon fiber material, aluminium, laser printed focusing screen. Key thing about this camera is that it's very light. I mean, very light for this size. Basically, it would be a ideal po pocket camera for street photography if it wouldn't have a lens. Because lens weighs like five kilos. It's like 600 millimeter lens, uh, 6.3. Uh, 600 millimeter, you know, if we are talking about equivalent of uh, Leica format, it's around 43 millimeters. So barely a normal lens. But I like it. I think, I think it will be all right. Yeah, um, that's pretty amazing camera. That's why I bought it. That's why I invested my savings in it. I, know, I, I don't know much about stocks or bitcoins. I never owned them. Um, but I, I know something about cameras. So when I see a good camera, I buy it. And by the way, I have to confess, that was not the only camera I bought. I also bought this one. <laughs> Link of Technorama 6x17. This will be my snap uh, camera. Uh, and now I have to go. It's a sunny day. I want to go to take a kayak. I want to go to the river. And I will, I will finish this vlog. So, oh, uh, one more thing. If you are uh, in Ljubljana in December, Come and visit me in, uh, in Ljubljana, Polianska 6, Polianska 6, I will be making uh, portraits on Collodio. So if you would like to have a portrait like this or a portrait with this camera, if you just want to see the camera, uh, this camera or this camera, if you want to see what I'm doing with this, all this stuff, you know, come and visit, come and see. If you have a voucher, if you bought a voucher in the past, come, now it's a good time, you know, I will make a, a plate for you. And if you, if you don't have an idea for a present, buy a voucher, buy a collodion plate. This will last for 100 years. That cheap plastic will, you know, last till tomorrow. Anyway. Um...